traditional ML, your approach would be, let me go build a, like a very large data set. Let me go generate some metrics for this. Let me go run a big offline job. Yeah. Because at that point, you're pretty much convinced that you're reasonably sure that, okay, this is going to work. But here it's like, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm literally just like, going to go try it out. Yep. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is valuable, but this is where prototyping is so important in AI in my mind, because you're starting to like, depending on how far you can ship your prototype, you're de-risking whether or not the product or the feature makes sense. But you're also de-risking whether the AI is like worth its weight, whether it's producing good results. And so what, you know, one, one common framework for product development is like, what risk am I mitigating in any moment? Am I mitigating product risk? Am I mitigating technical risk? The one we think about a lot on the AI side is quality risk. Um, and in traditional ML, I think you mitigate a lot of this quality risk by doing things in shadow mode, or again, by producing a large number of these metrics. In AI land, I think you have to mitigate quality and product risk at the same time. Hmm. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so I think that's like, okay, we want to build, you know, let's say we take a previous example of, we want to build a feature that helps our customers review documentation from third party vendors. One traditional approach might be like collecting a bunch of this documentation or generating synthetic documentation, giving it to humans to answer a set of questions, giving it to our AI pipeline, mm -hmm. and then producing a report of like, we agreed with humans 90% of the time. And that's right. great. But take that to a product leader. And they might say like, okay, I, I'm, I know now that you can produce an accurate AI here. What I don't totally grok is whether this will be truly useful to my customers and how useful it would be. 